Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. There's so much stuff to talk about as far as the 29.30 update that took place today. Uh, yes, we did cover it earlier as far as cosmetics, but now we're getting to the good stuff. We're getting to the future updates and a lot of cool stuff like that. But first things first, just really quickly, my TikTok got shadow banned. Do you guys know anybody that can talk to to get it unshadow banned? My account is in good standing. I have no strikes. I am family friendly. I follow all guidelines. And weirdly enough, I have no warnings or anything, but my views have died. I cannot get on the For You page anymore with any video and I'm now capping out at like a couple hundred views when I used to average upwards of, well, 500,000 views a video essentially. Like between 100,000 to a few million was my average every single day until like yesterday. So do you know anybody? Let me know in the comments below. With that being said, Kratos got updated once again. The Kratos shop section just got updated today. Uh, it has moved from the Fortnite collaborations category into the spotlight category. So the skin is definitely releasing soon. I really wish I could talk about this on TikTok. You guys freaking love TikTok as far as Kratos. But yes, once again, I am banned. So freaking help me out, people. I'm so annoyed with that. Uh, but yeah, Kratos should be coming back really, really soon. He is going to be a massive spotlight, uh, most likely inside this new item shop update. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. It's not that important. But what is important is the new My Hero Villains update. So it says, rumor, the next wave of My Hero Academia is villains. Uh, the current characters that are planned are Toga, Shikaraki. I probably completely botched that, uh, Dobby, and Twice. This is from Insider Info that was sent to Wenzo late last year. And today we have seen a new Dark Shot background added for this collaboration. Wow. So yeah, um, I almost am positive I also got this last year, but I completely forgot about it. But now that he mentioned Wenzo, that does make a lot of sense. So we get sent leaks like legit every day, all day, and 90% of the time, if not 99% of the time, it's generally fake. But I guess this one turned out to be real. So yeah, new My Hero, uh, what is this, Wave 2 or Wave 3 is coming soon. It's going to be a villains update. That is going to be very, very cool. Um, with that being said, there's a hijacking update coming soon, and it's going to be featured in Season 3. Reminder that Season 3 is an apocalyptic uh, slash Mad Max type of season, according to the leaked Fortnite roadmap. So it makes sense this feature would be featured. And uh, yeah, guys, so in case you've ever played GTA 5, GTA 4, anything like that, uh, while the car is moving, and sometimes even when it's stopped, you guys can actually carjack a vehicle. Here's a little gif in the background video, but yeah. We could actually do this starting in season three. And obviously, like he mentioned, Mad Max's collaboration will definitely tie into this along with that, the apocalyptic, you know, crazy season. It's gonna be freaking awesome. I would assume that if they're adding carjacking, they will probably also be seeing some new vehicles. So without a doubt, looking forward to season three. It actually might be a complete banger. With that being said, more Fall Guys leaks just came out today. So Fortnite X Fall Guys leaks. Uh, there will be cosmetics and emotes, maybe probably not at launch. Uh, there will also be a new Fall Guys loot slash items. Battle Royale will have quest and landmarks related to it. There will be races plus obstacle courses plus creative mode where you guys can build your own custom maps and islands and races, all that stuff. So they refer to it as races, but in reality, you're kind of just running around like parkouring. So yeah, like a new parkour uh, island essentially. So very, very cool. With that being said, there's now another Star Wars collaboration now planned as this new image was inside the files. So it's kind of strange that Epic Games is essentially like giving this to leakers like they put it directly in a place that all leakers would actually see this but it was not public which is very interesting and we can definitely tell that they blocked off you know Fortnite x dot 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 which is probably star wars and yes we figured out a few minutes later there's gonna be another star wars update next week none of the star wars event files are encrypted at the moment so epic games will have to add them to the game next week not quite sure why epic games did that i feel like they did it on purpose to uh, essentially allow leakers to build up the hype for the upcoming uh star wars update but then again they might have not done that on purpose because they also just did this fortnite has now removed all traces of the upcoming death trooper awr trooper from the game uh the skin will be added to the game files next week and yeah so this was leaked last night and then would it really enough they removed all traces of it uh, a little bit after that a little bit after that these tweets went live so very strange but they also got their hands on something else so here's some dialogue from the star wars collaboration Bright suns, um, I mean, the sun sure is bright. Why did I say it that way? Do you ever think about what life is like in other galaxies out there? Shring, ring, zing. Oh, sorry, I was just pretending I had a laser, a big laser sword. You want a fun prank idea? I've been going around telling people I'm their father. I guess this is his Fortnite characters just messing around. Uh, most people say no, or that's not true, or that's impossible, but some folks really believe it for a second. I've been having this reoccurring dream lately, these visitors showing up from a galaxy far, far away. 
At least I think they do. Last night feels like such a long time ago. And pun, 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 pun. So yeah, I would assume that these are NPC characters talking about this, perhaps even just Star Wars characters, but it kind of seems like they're just hinting at, uh, you know, just normal NPCs at Fortnite talking about these, so normal skins. Very interesting. And we also have for you guys this update, so the item shop update. Uh, essentially, they're tra they're testing out this new billboard feature. Uh, we talked about this uh, several times over the last couple of weeks, and the billboard feature will allow you guys to see skins and you know just the item shop in this current way. And I believe they're going to release this with the Star Wars update over on next week. So yeah, just kind of a small update. Um, another update they're actually doing today was uh, the new confrontational emotes option is turned off for all players by default. You'll have to change the option in the uh, account and privacy tab to from anyone to turn it off entirely. So just a quick PSA for you guys. And last but not least, Portland has now added a new flag for the new uh, Perseus pack. It will it will be activated in two hours from now. So expect the pack to be available tonight or tomorrow morning. So there you guys have it, my friends. That's all for that is all for today's video. Once again, if you know somebody at TikTok, a account manager, an employee, something, let me know, man, because I'm losing millions of views every day that I'm getting falsely shadow banned or something like that, or a glitched account. I don't know, man. I didn't, I didn't even do anything wrong. But thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate the heck out of you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video.